The 2020 from Mazda MX-5 Miata makes for an even better benchmark. Subtle improvements make one of the best sports cars on sale that little bit sweeter. You learn a lot about a car in Lime Rock Park's first corner. It's called Big Bend, a sweeping third-gear right-hander that spat its share of driving royalty both men and their machines out smoking and sideways. In the new Mazda Miata, you can trail brake on the way into Big Bend the roadster's rear end following obediently as you float down toward the corner's apex. Right here, smack in the middle of Big Bend, the Miata feels perfect. If you can believe it, the fourth generation Mazda Miata, called MD is closing in on 10 years old, an Ian when most models are redesigned every four to six years. So, the MD Miata just got its second facelift to keep things fresh. Consensus is that it's called the ND3. There are expected changes, a new infotainment system, a redesigned front bumper, new lights, new wheels, and new paint color and trim choices. Yet by far, the most important tweaks for Miata people are a revised steering system and a new limited slip differential. The diff has different locking factors, on and off throttle, which helps stabilize the car under braking and on corner entry and reduces understeer on corner exit. We couldn't resist taking the updated Roadster to Miata Country, those roads in northwestern Connecticut that flow gently through farmland, along rivers, and through stands of red maple, birch, and beech. And right in the middle of it all sits Lime Rock, heaven for sports cars and the people who drive them. This four-cylinder delivers instant throttle response and perfectly smooth power delivery up to its 7,500 revolutions per minute redline. In a world of anodyne for cylinders, this one shines. It feels like, and indeed, is a true sports car engine, meant to live in the upper half of the tachometer. Sounds sweet, too. The transmission is sublime. There's no beating a rod straight down into the gearbox, and the shift action is perfectly weighty and notchy. Careful calibration of engine response and a light, short travel clutch ensure quick, smooth shifting, and the ideally spaced pedals and light fly wheel make this the easiest car to heel and tow in. The sum of all of this is that you just shift all the time for the sake of it. On the day of our track test, we also have a new BMW M3 CS and a Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS with a Manthe Racing handling kit on hand. Both brilliant track tools, costing nearly $100,000 and well over $200,000 more than this $36,000 to $120 Roadster, respectively. The Miata still shine. Since the beginning, I've held up the N de Miata as a benchmark. Fundamentally, this is the N de Miata we've grown to love, a rolling example of all the virtues of lightweighting with perfect handling balance, a willing naturally aspirated engine and the best manual transmission in any car on sale today, possibly ever. There are faster cars out there too, but in terms of pure fun, it's diminishing returns from here. This is the benchmark made better. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for other new videos.